in any problem at all or in a functional nature, of course, will allow them to proceed with what they're doing. We're more particular about those minorities, like the 10 million OFW families that exist right now. I assume uh, you are uh, against this uh, RSV pending conference. Oh, yes, Your Honor. Whatever uh, you your partners with what laws do you intend to propose uh, to preserve the family? Well, we intend to have a, a landmark law, the Magna Carta for families, which in essence would be looking at, as I mentioned, the marginalized groups or dysfunctional families and put a safety net so that this uh, issue of having absence of fathers and mothers or children for that matter can be resolved by being able to put in legislation uh, as an example connectivity between the OFW families and their loved ones abroad is one issue that has to be resolved because it's the lack of communication that creates much of the dysfunction what is the relation of the proposed law intent to present to this RH bill? There is no direct effect on the RH bill, Your Honor, because this law is really going to be able to provide safety nets for the families that are dysfunctional and marginalized. What problem safety nets do you have in mind? Well, I was trying to explain earlier that uh, one would be connectivity because, as we know now, uh, with the advent of internet. Many families have no contacts with their uh, loved ones abroad who are working for them can be connected down to the barangay level. And this is one of the uh, 17 uh, laws that we're, we're looking into. We're also looking into, Your Honor, the uh, possibility of having uh, families that are here in the Philippines who are of the families that would be uh, given the proper training to be able to preserve the earnings that they get from their loved ones and invest them into right uh, micro business or investments. Uh, Mr. Rendis, is your party list registered with the security uh, services manager? It is not, Your Honor. It's not. In the plan of government to form part of the record states, uh, when we are uh, promoting family and life, we obviously will have to be done against anything that would reduce further the existing population that we have, and which has already been debunked in many scientific studies, that the population is not the issue that we should be addressing, but really how to have a well-educated population, especially on the family level, and of course, to decrease the amount of production that uh, is happening now in many parts of our country. Is it then that uh, that is still one of the purposes of the society to regulate our uh, overpopulation in the very least? That's the, uh, if you will look at your honor, at the, uh, the initiatives of both, of any part of the RH bill. This is taken from uh, foreign forces, forces and particularly pinpointed to uh, the United States and Europe where in no less than uh, uh, Henry Kissinger has had to expose this uh, program of, of, of depopulating, of lessening the number of youth, especially those youth that are seen to be against the American race of uh, proceeding in their business. And this is covered under NSSM 200, which has been already classified and is available in the internet. So we feel that uh, the families, the Filipino families, particularly the marginalized OFW families, are at a disadvantage with this kind of foreign intervention. And our employment that is not available for this uh, people are not, it's going to be exacerbated, uh, going to be complicated and aggravated as we continue to bring in foreign ideology of the population. We believe the population is not 
is not supposed to be the issue. It is more on corruption and being able to have a, a, a strong base of human capital, which we are now enjoying because we have sustained our population growth over the years. Okay, the, the five nominees we have are uh, Attorney James Timbong. He's a lawyer. Um, he's also our Secretary General. We have Attorney uh, Jeremy Gatula, who is also an international law, many professor. Yes, we have uh, uh, Ms. Lorna Menegrito, who is uh, a teacher and an executive director in activities of pro life Philippines. We have uh, uh, Leila uh, G. Garcia, who is uh, a teacher. And we have um, Mr. N. Eduardo Tenona, who is a retired um, marketing and uh, uh, sales uh, professional. And uh, these nominees of yours are not marginalized. Uh, this is on their professions, uh, they are not marginalized. Right. They, they are, well, if you, Your Honor, if you look at it, um, when, when we, this, all of these people are part of the movement, the pro life movement. And uh, in the context of marginalization, I will mention that uh, the pro life movement in itself is a big marginalized group because it does not have any. Uh, not much resources except the human volunteers that we have that have to strive on whatever money we have in our pocket as compared to the RH advocates who are very well funded fabulously have different uh, NGOs that are uh, receiving grants and monetary support to the PSCBD, to the Planned Parenthood various other organizations. Uh, Mr. Witness, uh, 